up? It's Kathy and I'm back with another process video and this one is using primarily the carousel collection from Maggie Holmes um, with Cray Paper and I really love this collection. Um, I know that there's a bunch of new collections out. I just recently got some of them but um, everybody who knows me or watches my videos knows that I don't mind using anything and I know <laughs> this is not an old um, an old collection by far. Uh, it's only like what maybe two three months old at the most um, but I know how quickly um, we dive into the new collections but since I just got a bunch of new collections and I still have so much stash um, I just wanted to scrap this photo. I've been scrapping a lot of um, fall photos lately anyway so this is my chance to go back and scrap some summer stuff because um, I don't know sometimes a lot of times when I'm in fall I want to scrap fall when I'm uh, into kind of Christmassy type stuff I want to scrap that so I just thought I would uh, get back into it I'm using the kind of the photorealistic paper from her collection which I bought two of so that I could have the back side and this side just in case, even though I wasn't too sure what I was going to do with it because I don't know about anybody else, but yes, I do struggle with um, realistic papers like that where it's just a large picture and then you're putting a picture on top of a picture and it can get a little trying and uh, a little hard. And I have done it one before um, with a layout about my son and this one is about my daughter and she's on a carousel, so why not use this whole collection? Uh, you saw me use a little bit of the Dear Lizzie. Oh, what was that collection called? Happy Day? Happy Place? Oh, Happy Day? I don't know. It was last year, last year's collection. Um, oh, Lovely Day. That was it. I don't <laughs> I don't write down my uh, my collections when I'm. Uh, when I'm getting ready to do these voiceovers so I'm basically just going from memory of what everything's called so I don't know how I remember half the, the stuff that I do but the first two pieces of paper were from a 6x6 six six paper pad from Oh Lovely Day and then the last two were 12x12. 12 12. I did not buy the uh, there was a mini pad with the carousel collection but I think it was 8x6x8 by six by eight, which I think is I don't know, either planner size or traveler no I don't know so it, it's not the normal size but I had heard that the papers were not scaled down so it was just large chunks of them which I thought was really weird so I was kind of glad I didn't buy that but there was no paper pad that I knew of otherwise I probably would have got it because I always get six by six paper pads uh, specifically for the reason of doing what I was just doing which is backing um, backing my photos and, and creating layers uh, I find it really hard to not put layers in the back of my photos. I don't know about anybody else, but it's just, I always feel they're really, I don't know, they just kind of look sad and lonely when they don't have them. Even though I like the idea of not doing it, uh, and I do leave them from time to time, but in this case where I was laying the photo on a big, um, a big photo, but I was putting it in kind of the white space, I felt it needed some backing. So I'm just going through and picking out any ephemera that I want to use. I only end up using a few pieces that I've picked out, but I tend to just grab anything that I like and kind of work from there. And I really wanted to use the large zebra uh, ephemera piece. The only thing is, is that it's pointing in the wrong direction for this photo because I would want it pointing into the layout as opposed to out the layout. So I am not going to use it. I'm going to, sorry guys, didn't mean to yawn. I'm going to use the chipboard one. And that uh, ticket paper is one of the specialty papers from this collection. And it's really cute and and it, uh, the top and the bottom are kind of just halves uh, just because of the, the size of the tickets. So I took the top part and it's all uh, perforated so you can easily tear off what you need to which I thought was really cool so when I was going to get my chipboard which are in a couple of drawers in like a, a storage cabinet behind me I noticed that I had these foam 
um, numbers just laying on the floor that I had left over. I'd thrown out all the letters because I didn't have enough letters to write anything specific, but I kept the numbers because I just kind of liked them. So I'm going to lay them around the back behind the photo uh, instead of doing some kind of mixed media. And that does take me a while because even though I trace out where the photo is going to go, uh, I didn't trace it out well enough. I just put little little ticks and that didn't really do what I needed it to do. <laughs> So I originally took out that uh, ticket paper to have something on the top to kind of ground the layout, but I really didn't like it up there. So I did like it on the bottom. Um, I liked tucking in a few pieces of ephemera into it as well. And I did cut down that pink piece with the carousel on it because uh, I just didn't want to take up too much space on the... Uh, I didn't want to cover up too much of that that uh, top of the carousel picture because I just think it's cute. You can see what I'm doing now. I'm marking it off and it still ends up crazy and I still have to adjust it and everything like that. But I just wanted these phone numbers kind of peeking out. And there was no rhyme or reason to this because numbers have nothing to do with carousel. But anyway, I think I just was like, oh, let's just use them up um, and kind of get them get them out of the way so uh yeah no that was pretty much it <laughs> I just decided to use them up uh it's just one more thing now that I don't have to save so that's great um pretty much all my videos like this isn't a trim your stash video but all, a lot of my videos end up kind of being in that uh vein because I like to just get rid of stuff um I have so much and with the whole new happy mail that I got I think it was last week uh, that I've barely, I put most of it away, but I haven't even looked at it yet. I got a whole bunch of um, Halloween stuff. Uh, I'm not sure why I bought a bunch of Halloween stuff. I don't plan on making an October Daily. Maybe I'll make a mini album. That's probably why I bought it. <laughs> so anyway, I'm I'm trying to make some room, I guess. But um, I thought that was kind of neat. I When I moved some of them, they stuck down too hard, and I had to kind of rip the paper. But... I'm not going to worry about that. You barely see it and there's going to be more decorating. Anyway, now because of because of how this was sticking down, I decided to stick it down with glue, which is not something I would normally do, uh, but I just thought it would be better since I was trying to stick it all on top of these foam uh, pieces. So you can see that seven's kind of sitting out there a bit. I do think I moved that a bit so that it's kind of tucked in a bit more. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna use some chipboard and decorate and kind of move things around till it's how I like it. I love that zebra, he's so cute. Um, and everything, uh, several of the ephemera pieces are all say carousel on them or things like that just to kind of, I don't know, have something. Uh, because I put chipboard there, I'm gonna need to put chipboard in like at least one other place to have kind of a, a three uh, visual triangle going on. And uh, for decorating, I am pretty much going to stick with this, with this collection. I don't really venture too far out. I'm going to pop up the, the balloons with some, uh, foam dots just to kind of give them a little bit of dimension. Um, I think the only thing I do is I have, uh, last year's Valentine's Day chipboard from Crate Paper and they had a big banner that says love and it's pink and it matches really well with this. I'm trying to bring in more black and white because of that zebra being black and white. But then I realized I don't really need to. It's not super necessary but I do feel like there needs to be something in that corner. Um, I think I just put a few tags or something like that in the corner. I was like oh that'll just that won't stick in there. Uh, I didn't really feel like the flowers went well with the uh, with the layout because that they'll be used for something else um, for sure. Yeah, you can see I'm just kind of kind of struggling there a little. I'm trying to bring in some of the glittery gold because of the tag down at the bottom. So I'm trying to bring in some more gold somewhere else. That one would have worked, but. It was covering up so much of the picture that I was kind of a thinking like, what's, what's really the point? 
and then I just thought, well, why don't I just get some tags maybe? And there was a chipboard tag on the sheet and then I think I'll go and grab one of these. Yeah. Just to bring in another one of those tags, just so that there's somewhere else. I think I brought in that one specifically because it says carousel. Oh, yeah. Then I just end up sticking it down there instead. So I don't even do what I was supposed to. <laughs> it says carousel, so I had to bring it in. I think I get another one. Yeah. I was pretty certain I did. I don't have the layout in front of me to really remember what I did. Uh, I do think I have to move those a little bit, though, to bring in that large banner. And the only reason, one of the only reasons I brought in that banner was I really felt like the layout was missing something on the right hand side it was just so much white space and I know I could have left it but it just felt like it was empty to me and this this banner probably could have worked anywhere like it did work there as well but when I placed it there I really liked ah, <laughs> spider web hair I really liked how it looked and I did have to sorry guys uh, I did have to pop it some of it up with foam dots because um, because the photo cluster papers are all uh, dimensional. So uh, there is definitely dimension to this. And I put enough foam dots that I shouldn't have to worry about it getting all weird and, and bending down and sticking or anything like that. But uh, yeah, this, this was supposed to be a simplistic layout. And as you guys can see, I ended up going crazy again, because that's just what I do. So I'm sticking down some stars so I have more glitter. Um, glittery gold which is oh so fun to photograph for anybody that does the photographs will know um, but I think that's about it I do put a uh, something underneath the love off screen right before I took the photo and I put the words goes round and I think it's from the chasing dreams little gold words um, from Maggie Holmes oh but there's some more black and white <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna bring in some Heidi Swap color shine in primrose and I think after that, that that is about it for this layout. I don't really do much else. Um, but I, I, except for look and see if I want to put other things. But I, I got to admit, guys, the layout's busy as anything as it is. So I don't see why I would need to. Even that, I was, I put in this tiny little tag and went, no, no, not even that tag. Oh, no, I did put something else in. Right, today was magic. I think that I put that in because I thought that was going to be my title, which it still could be. Um, but right now, the title is technically Love Goes Round. Um, I don't know why. I just thought it was cute. So I'm shaking up my head to swap color shine. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Pictures are coming up. And have an awesome day. So bye. In case you didn't know, I have started a Patreon channel, so if anybody wants to help support um, my YouTube channel as well as some of the scrappy uh, adventures that are coming up, uh, I would really appreciate it. Even a dollar a month really helps out. Uh, but even if you just like and subscribe and comment, that really helps as well. Thank you so much and have an awesome day.